Right, here we go. I can see the tunnel ahead. I'll just zoom in. There's someone about to go through the tunnel now. It'll be a bit unsteady because I'm trying to steer. So I, I'll, go, I'll come off zoom for now. And uh, now when I first went through this tunnel 12, 13 years ago, it was not as wide. It was, in, well, it's been cleaned up. All the ivy has been taken off. Um, it's been, I wouldn't say widened, but it's been cleaned up so that it's lighter. Now, year, in the past, you could only see like a, a small white dot when you look through. So they've, they've changed it so that it's wide open. And it did have cat's eyes and it's much, much lighter. Now, when you used to go through it, it was pitch black. When I first went, started going through it, it was pitch black. It was so dark, you couldn't see the person coming in the opposite direction. I, I, mean, I used to put my lights on, on the bike. I don't even know if mine work. That's what they do anymore. somebody coming through but I'm just going to stop there is no lighting in the tunnel oh no lighting I'm just going to stop here a minute oh. let's let this person come out I'm not waiting for everybody. Now, when I first came through here, you wouldn't be able to see nothing. There were no cat's eyes, nothing. It was pitch black. I mean pitch black. You wouldn't see nothing. That's what it was like in the past. Absolutely pitch black. That person might not be able to see me, by the way. I'll keep over this side. I've got no lights. I have got my camera so they can see... There's a light there, look. Right, my lights aren't working. <laughs> yeah, this is um, nowhere near as dark as it used to be. Right, it seems dark, but it's not. And it seems much shorter. When I walk through here, there was all cobwebs hanging down. It wasn't as wide. It certainly didn't have cat's eyes. And... It was a spooky feeling because I've, <laughs> I've mentioned it in the other old video about the dark figure behind me standing before I entered the tunnel. And then on another occasion when I came, I stopped about here and I saw somebody coming through just like I did then, someone on a bike. Because it was so dark in those days, I rang my bell. Uh, all I heard was the whoosh of the person. I never saw them. No, and I didn't see... I, I saw them enter the tunnel. I felt the whoosh. But after that, well... I'm going to turn around here anyway. We're not going all the way up here. I'm just... Just going to stop here for a minute. So this, what happens with this route here, is it goes um, to Cheddar and to Axbridge. The A38 um, goes along down the bottom there. But like I said, in the past it was pitch black. You couldn't see a thing when you went through that tunnel. <coughs> Right, there is a, a, a signpost there. I, I think this might still be on video, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I'll just zoom back to the tunnel. So I've been through it. It was difficult to video because there was somebody coming and they had their lights on. They didn't speak. 
Now that's much wider. If you looked at my old video, all you would see is a, a, literally like looking down the telescope, a small bright light, very small. But for some reason this has changed the whole way you view this tunnel. Now in the past it would be that small like that. I'm not going to go up to the end there. I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, off we go again. I think we might just get through it before somebody else. So here's the entrance to the tunnel. All put, built by human hands this bit. Well, it might have been. That something was anyway. There is somebody coming. We might get through a bit of it before somebody else comes the other way. And as you can see how light it is, what a difference. It gets a bit darker when you get in the middle. But it, when you walk it, it is quite spooky. Now that's the darkest bit back there when you're right in the middle. Uh, and you, that person coming would be able to see me, but in the past it was hard. You couldn't see the person bash you. No way. And you emerge. This is where the construction of the strawberry line began in 1867. The first turf was cut with a silver shovel. Solar powered lighting has been provided to help you travel through the 180 metre tunnel, which changes from soft marl at this end to hard limestone at the other. Oh, yeah. Like I said, a small person, I've actually been on this, the train, this train. When it came through here, I've actually been as a very small child. And I've walked through there before they'd done it up. And it used to be pitch black, no cat's eyes, nothing. It used to be pitch black. With big hanging ivy. And very spooky. But it's not anymore. They've tidied it up so much, it's just like a big tube. Still fun though. Still fun. Right, over and out for that video.